think this is a secret at all. I love Toy Tower Defense. It's by far my favorite Roblox game. And it's probably yours too. So much to a point, I even watch Vietnamese YouTubers. You're probably like, Corpus, what are you talking about? Today, I found out that the Cupid Bow Woman actually got a nerve. But how did you find this out, Hopeless? Because I actually watched this guy's video. His name's Bum Roblox and he's a Vietnamese YouTuber. And if you're wondering what on earth this title says, because you're like me and you don't speak Vietnamese, it's something to Cupid Camera Woman having lungs after being nerfed? All I need to know is that the Cupid Camera Woman got nerfed, at least in Vietnam. So since the Cupid Camera Woman got nerfed, I figured it made the most sense, like I do with the Frost DJ, to use it against Nightmare Mode and see if it can win. Uh, bop. So for those of you that don't know, this beautiful, wonderful, amazing lady could always solo Nightmare Mode fully on her own without any help. And we did it on this map too. We did it on Toilet City. So with that being said, we're going to test to see if the consistency is still the same. Can the Cupid Woman still solo Nightmare Mode after apparently getting nerfed? Nerf. The only help that she's gonna get is from the green laser cameraman because frankly she don't need no help from any man She's strong on her own. She can even be placed down immediately. That's how strong she is only being a hundred Buckaroonies to place down right away is actually Insanity having a unit be that strong and so cheap should be banned and that's coming from a skeleton Yo -ho -ho -ho. So at level 2 it looks like the cubic camera woman is doing 1200 damage, but her cooldown is 1.5 so the deep DPS on that's closer to 800. But is that different to what it was before? I don't have the wiki pulled up, so I don't know if it's the same or not. But the reason why it mattered is to make sure that the unit actually got nerfed. If the unit didn't actually get nerfed, then what are we doing here? Why are we still here? Also, if you're wondering, right now she's kind of sucking, and that's only because we haven't been able to take care of these back units yet. Until these back units get taken care of, and we can have the Cupid Camera Woman focus her attention at shooting these units, we are not gonna be okay. Ouch, my, uh, my tower is taking a little bit of health. That's definitely not what you want to see how much your tower has at wave 8. That's pretty bad. As you can see, when she shoots behind her, she, um, kind of sucks. Because <laughs> she's not able to hit all those units in a row. So for those of you that don't know, the Cupid Camera Woman has this pierce ability where where her arrows shoot, it actually pierces through all the toilets behind it. So that's why her being placed right here when she shoots down this way is so strong because you could have a conveyor belt or a full track full of 15 units and she will attack all of them. So wait a minute, I wonder if targeting last is always going to be smart for her. Well, considering she's attacking behind her and she's targeting last, I, uh, I, I don't think so. However, good news. We now no longer have any leaking or bleeding toilets at all. So now the Cupid Camera Bow Woman can focus all of her amazing and beautiful attention on taking care of these toilet boys right here. Mutant Toilet 2.0, this is definitely a true test of her strength. And as far as things go, at least damage wise, it doesn't really seem like the Cupid Camera Woman's changed a whole lot. My only guess that could have happened as to why she would be quote unquote considered nerfed is that her range is isn't as good or her or that her like crossbow can't pierce through as many toilets as it could before because right now she's still doing 9,000 damage per second which is actually how much she was doing before so sometimes it makes the skeleton think a little bit it makes me think did she actually get nerfed or were people capping again in Vietnam are people capping about toy tournaments in Vietnam are you kidding me but no I definitely don't think a video like that would be made <laughs> at all unless there was was an actual nerf that happened because that frankly just does not make sense to the skeleton man at all but we have all of our state of tv man currently at level z button and we're not gonna upgrade him anymore not today mr santa claus not today Yo -ho -ho. but we are gonna keep stacking these beautiful women on top of each other not not in a weird guys not in a weird way don't make it weird we'll go ahead and do a four stack and then try to place another row as close as possible to this one so when they shoot they're still shooting in a straight line that goes all the way to the back it's an armada of cupid bow women <laughs> so far i think i only have two or three of them fully maxed out and they're doing just fine i don't even have all of them placed let alone do i have any of the santa tv men sold yet oh my gosh this unit's so good this is the power of full max bow women just wait until i max 
out all 15. When we get to that point, your boots will truly be quaking. We have 25 and we have had no issues so far. It's a school of Cupid camera women that have been absolutely bowing down every single thing inside of their pack. All right, gamers, let's do the math. How much does she cat? How much does she cost to fully max out? Okay, so 100, 400, 2400, 6400. That's it. 6400 to essentially be doing an unlimited amount of damage per second. Oh, Blanche, how is it unlimited damage per second? It clearly only says 9000 DPS. Well, because she doesn't just do AoE like other units. She literally shoots through everything that's coming through this conveyor belt. And I don't know if you've noticed or not. Uh, tell me if you have. Um, Nothing's gotten past this since we've had all of the Cupid Bow women down. If you're asking, what does that mean? It means that it's unlimited. The, the damage that is. The, the damage is unlimited. I really did not need to max out these Sanity D men. We have enough money as it is to fully upgrade all these Bow women. It's almost way too easy to actually upgrade all of them. I don't think this is fair. Hey, uh, can we give the toilets a little bit of a handicap? It seems like they might need it these days. POV, all of our Cupid Bow women sniping all the toilets at once. This is what it looks like. Imagine being a toilet coming out of that conveyor belt and you're getting hit with this volley of arrows. More importantly, imagine coming out of the conveyor belt and being like literally fresh out of the gate, but getting hit by an arrow that was meant for the Strider rocket toilet. <laughs> there could be a unit all the way up here and you could be coming out of the conveyor belt right then and then get absolutely headshot by an arrow before you even get the chance to take a breath. That's gotta be one of the most cruel punishments I've ever heard of. Also, most people think it makes sense to actually sell this Santa TV man. I'm actually gonna leave it. I think having like important stun units still taking their time to stop and stun it is gonna be an effective strategy that gives the Cupid Bowman more time to actually do more. And let's be honest, we don't need any of the extra money that we're getting. I think we're perfectly adequately okay with this amount of DPS right here. And also, most importantly, we can't upgrade anymore even if we wanted to. Dude, look at how fast we're doing Doing a million DPS. Do you guys know anything that could do DPS of a million that fast? Like, if you added a, uh, what is it? If you can find a really, really long strip on endless mode, slap down a DJ, I think it'd be game over. I think you would set up like a personal record on endless mode. I don't, I think that might be the new meta strat. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't think they would do enough damage against like some of the boss toys. But I wonder if this could be meta for like a duo strategy, maybe. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Should I use the Cupid Bow Woman on endless mode? I think that's actually a really good idea. I wonder how far she could go. Either way so far on endless nightmare mode on nightmare mode for the cupid camera woman she has been smooth sailing just fine no complaints from me which side said she can't kill the laser scientist toilet faster Yo it truly is so satisfying watching all those arrows fly through it's just so not fair but this strategy makes him the green laser cameraman op throw in a sinister titan tv man or a toxic they do even better because this is a unit that truly benefits fits from the slowdown effects more than any other i've seen in the entire game like could you honestly think of a way to more efficiently use a cupid camera woman i can't wave 45 and as you expected the cupid camera women are doing their job perfectly fine we probably have about four three to four minutes left of this nightmare mode this one this woman this unit adam add her to your team come on look at how much money i've saved up i this has got to be one of the most if not the most econ economy friendly unit in all of Toyo Terror Defense. I don't think you could get a unit up to this much DPS per dollar spent ever. I think on the wiki, this would be the best. She's also cute too. Hopeless, dude, shut up. Rut bro. It's spelling trouble town in paradise for the Cupid Bow Woman. I went ahead and made the smart decision to turn off auto skip at least for a second because it was looking like some units would be getting over to this point and then that is no bueno for us. We need to maximize our Cupid camera women as much as we possibly can. We need her to only shoot in a straight line right here. Because if she's not, she's not nearly as effective as she should be. Without all of them shooting at one unit at once, I'm actually slightly nervous. I wonder if this is where the leak or like more of the nerf for the Cupid camera woman came in at. Because before, I believe we were fully able to auto skip all the way to the end of wave 50 before. But now, that's not looking like what's happening here so i wonder what that truly means for us and it's wave 50 time pluck back on that auto skip and let's get ready to 
rumble. No Santa TV, man. We're just gonna double green laser cameraman. Not sure if it makes a difference, <laughs> but we're gonna hope that it does. 64% complete already. We know we should be able to take down these units just fine. The smooth operator just came out and all those units are already dead. The green laser cameraman is focusing the giant smooth toilet and it looks like we should take care of nightmare mode here in well then less than 17 and a half minutes. And five, four, three, two, one. Bob, I always forget to turn on a coin boost, bruh. So whether the cubic camera woman got a nerf or not, I guess it's kind of indecisive. Now, I don't think she did. But like I said, I wanted to test out that video that I saw nonetheless. But I guess that's how it's gonna be. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys smack that like and subscribe button. We are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the month. That would mean the world to me. Either way, without further ado, that is gonna be it from Skeleton Man right here. Check the video out that's on the screen now. That should be a video that I made yesterday. And make sure you check out my second channel where I'm playing other Roblox related games. Either way, without further ado, that is gonna be it from me. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!